and welcome back to the first episode of Building Your Ideas. What is that, you ask? Exactly what it sounds like. How can you be welcomed back if it's the first episode? Ha, <laughs> stop asking questions. So I literally went through like all 600 of your guys' comments on the last video, and the most frequent requests I got were the AI glasses from Spider-Man. Some honorable comment mentions though, from a random dude. You should make a device that allows you to breathe underwater, which is completely contained in a cool looking mask. Dude, sweet idea, very hard to do though. <laughs> so, Future Jake here, actually did this one. Basically the screen I needed for the Spider-Man glasses is on back order. Really annoying, cause I already wrote all the code for it. And the screen is supposed to be here like five days ago. Uh, so go blame Spark Fun for that. But in the meantime, we're gonna do this spy underwater scuba mask. Okay, back to past Jake. JL comments. Well, I guess there's only one thing to say to that. You're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. So basically you're going Michael Reeves. No, I prefer Keanu, thanks. And one from Noah. Just to say, you're the guy who got me into engineering. Hell yes, that's what it's all about. In fact, here's some sweet stuff that you guys made and sent me on IG. an armor suit made of wood. That's pretty cool. So if you've made anything cool, definitely send it my way at Jayla's a video. Toss it a follow if you want. And also let me know down below what I should make next. If you don't if you don't comment, I'm 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 gonna cry. Alright? You don't wanna see that. So let's build it. Okay, so we're kind of building this thing on short notice here, but don't worry, we're still gonna make it look sweet. Now there's videos on YouTube of people pumping up like plastic water bottles and using those as scuba tanks to breathe, but like really that, that works about as well as you'd think it would. Like, like you can't, you're like you can't really go underwater because you're so buoyant. End up kind of like one of them ducks trying to dive. Point is, we need something better. I actually made a scuba device like a while back, probably like 13. Um, out of a HPA paintball tank. Wouldn't recommend that, at least the way I did it. Cause you know, as you can imagine, you can seriously hurt yourself when you're scuba diving and this thing did not have a regulator. Um, granted I didn't go very deep, but like still just, to be more safe with this build, we're gonna use all commercially available scuba parts. And I did some research and it looks like you're fine to go around like 10 feet deep, even if you're not a certified diver. So a quick search on the interwebs, looks like you're able to buy mini emergency dive tanks and all the parts that go with it for pretty cheap. So we're gonna try and find the smallest tank and the smallest regulator in order to cut down on all the bulk and make this like a spy scuba mask. Uh, I did find a whole setup, like emergency dive tank for like, I think like 30 bucks or something. I'm not sure how sketchy that one is though. I can't imagine how big the underground market is on mini scuba tanks, but probably, probably just test that one before you use it. So anyways, we got our mini regulator, we got our mini tank, and now we need a sweet looking mask to go with it. Now, I don't know who designed these full face snorkel masks, but I'm getting serious like Teletubby vibes, or maybe like bird vibes. Snorkels coming right out of the top of the head there. Uh, but I was able to find one mask that actually looked pretty, pretty freaking sweet, guys. Two side snorkel parts that plug in kind of like a hazmat suit. Um, so I'm thinking all we need to do is just jack the, uh, the mini tank right into one of those ports. It also has two snorkel ports, so we could leave one regular snorkel for when we wanna do like surface breathing. Um, then when you dive down, it switches over to the other breathing. Or we could chuck two tanks on the side for twice the air, twice the, twice the air. A lot of stuff we can do with this, so uh, let's get to it. <laughs> So I think I'm gonna position the oxygen bottle on the side of the mask, right behind the mask itself. Trying to make an anchor point to hold the top part on. Maybe use this strap mount to secure this bottom part on. Then it's out of the way, pretty minimal as well. So you can still see the tank, but it's not super in the way of anything. Then all I have to do is run a little bit of tube from here to the in port. Oh, how sexy does that look? Got it secured on with a bit of wire. And now really all I need to do is just get a little bit of uh, tubing to connect the regulator to the uh, port for the snorkel. So here is the mask complete with oxygen tank. As you can tell. I think this thing looks pretty badass. It's a funny noise when I breathe and talk. Hello. I'm actually gonna take it off, not not because it's uncomfortable or um, 
suffocates you in any way. It's just purely personal preference. So another sweet thing we can use to make this even better is this device right here. What is this, you ask? This is an underwater sea scooter provided me courtesy of Magic Jet. I'll put their link in the description. If you haven't seen what these are, basically it swims for you. You just grab onto it, pull the trigger, and it'll tow you along underwater. I think it'll go great with our uh, homemade scuba mask. But now what we have to do is figure out a way to fill this up. And since I don't have any local dive shops around, uh, nor do I want to walk into one wearing this because they'd probably either laugh at me or call the cops. Here's how we're going to fill this up at home. First thing we're going to need, a super high pressure hand pump. This baby will go up to uh, 3000 PSI, which is the amount we need if we're going to be able to stay underwater for any substantial amount of time with this small of a tank. I think you can get these pumps pretty cheap now, uh, but basically it's got a quick release valve on it. So now we just need to get some sort of adapter to fit this quick release valve on our regulator right here. So here are the three adapters. So this tiny piece connects to the quick release valve on our pump, which then allows us to connect on the scuba tank adapter. And then we have one last adapter that connects from the scuba to the mini portable tank. And then finally, this piece can screw on to our mask. Now the fun part guys, we get to pump this thing up probably a couple thousand times. And I also lost the foot plate on the pump and the handlebars, so this might suck, but you know. Yup, that's, that's how we like to start it. Gave you guys the pain of this and just cut to the end. So we got it filled up about halfway. Didn't, didn't honestly take me as long as I thought. Probably like five minutes of actual solid pumping. I took a lot of breaks. So first, just gonna put it on. See if we can get any airflow through here. So like, let's see if we can just cover up this port and breathe. Yeah, guys, it's working. Hear that. You have to work a little bit harder to breathe out of this, but it's not much. Um, but that's actually a good thing because, so if we're swimming around on the surface, the snorkel will take over and we won't waste any air inside the container. And then the snorkel's actually got a little ball lock system. Um, so when we dive under the water, this will shut off and then this will take over. If all of this goes to plan, this should be very cool. So uh, we're gonna take this, pretty much stick my face in a bathtub, see if it works. The mask right here. Oh, yes. It'll look kind of cool. On location, about to test this out. Tell me how I look on a scale of like one to, to Bane from Batman. Oh, wait. I was I was filming your nipple. Oh. Sorry, sorry. I'm my nipple. All right, fine. I don't even remember what I said. No oxygen tank hidden anywhere. Or no like backpack, just the mask. Air tank, snorkel. We're gonna go jump in the water now. Shout out to uh, Insta360 for hooking us up with these sweet cameras. Yeah, you do look as cool as you think. Okay. Don't worry. Just jump, man. Try it out, baby. You look sweet. Totally unbiased opinion based off of the person who made it. It looks amazing. It yeah, yeah. Amazing. I know, right? It feels sweet, huh? That means you're going. Yeah, put your face in the water and just take a breath. Yeah, go fishing. You want the jet? Go deliver the jet. It's good. I think we're out of air. Are we? In terms this of is great. <laughs> and the snorkel closes automatically yeah. and you just keep breathing. And it's like I get why the snorkel closes though. So. 
Yeah, it's smart. Pressure, yeah. I think we just gotta go pump it up a little bit more. Yeah, I think so. You're gonna love how we do that. What? <laughs> You're gonna love the process. Oh no, manual. Let's go pump her up. And also, I lost the bottom piece for that, so we yeah, kind of have to put your feet around that. Yeah. <laughs> so, how ratchet. But, and I also screwed on a piece of pipe there. <laughs> yeah. you, you really need that part. Yeah, look at that handiwork right there. Oh, watch out for oh. that. I thought you were holding that. No, oh. you hold it. Just kind of. <laughs> you ape. <laughs> so, a thousand PSI will probably get you like 10 to 30 seconds, probably like 10 breaths. How much are we trying to get? Not very, I don't think we can get very much. See, super easy to refill. <laughs> All you need to do is pump for like five minutes. Also hold it in, because there's a chance this snaps. <laughs> Not that it's any more ratchet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. still a pretty sweet. All right, you want to hold it? I right. just don't think it's getting any higher. Are we trying to get to a thousand here? Yeah. Get wild. I'm gonna though. jack 50 pumps, ready? We're at a thousand. Oh, but like what if break into a castle somewhere that's underwater and you have to swim under a moat? You would use this. You would use that, yeah. All right, let's get it. Alright, so functionally this thing worked amazing. Probably one of the most functional projects I've ever made in terms of like build quality and doing what it was supposed to. The snorkeling on top worked great. The ball valve shutting when you dive underwater and then the air tank taking over. I wish you could get a little bit more time underwater. Like you, like you really only get a couple minutes of oxygen um, with this small of a tank, but I mean, Literally, like this is all it is for the breathing device. I guess you can't complain too much. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy it. If you did like that ish up, so subscribe and comment down below what you want to see me make next. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next video.